Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> what's up? What's up? Year two, Chess. Now, you all are coming back to me for another year. I'm, I'm very happy about that. I was very pleased when I heard that was the case. Uh, I have some very great chess players who I feel that I was gypped some time with. And uh, now I get a chance to have some more time. I uh, hope you all are as excited about that as I am. And I uh, look forward to another year with you all. Anyway, anyway, I just want to give a quick intro. Again, I do have maybe two or three people who uh, have not had me before. And uh, just to give you a kind of idea of what to expect. Um, the only difference between this year and last year is, of course, we are playing virtually, but still a lot of gameplay, uh, still learning tactics, and still improving through gameplay. All right, so a little bit about myself. This begins my 16th year teaching as a full-time instructor. In the past, I've been a math teacher. I've been a support facilitator. Uh, mostly math um, on middle school and high school levels. This is my fourth year at Franklin Academy, and I am not going anywhere. They have to run me away from that school. I, I love this job, uh, nothing better. Anyway, uh, I'm originally from Memphis, Tennessee. I'm a former member of the world fame Gremlin State University Marching Tigers. I enjoy music, motorcycling, chess, and spending time with my sons. I'm also a Freemason, part-time voiceover artist, a DJ, music producer, and realtor. So here's a couple pics of me and various activities. I'm going to the lodge up here and DJing down there. Got my drum here, drum line, play downright tenor, and my bike. And you might be wondering, why chess? Well, chess, especially for those who enjoy the game, you're really doing a lot of good for yourself, and you probably don't even realize it. But I'm not going to read through all of this, but I'll just touch on a couple. It does improve concentration and self-discipline. Uh, you develop problem-solving skills. Uh, you develop forethought and circumspection. That's, that's a word, right? Circumspection. That's uh, basically just the opposite of, of risk taking. So um, you do take risks and you know when it's probably not a good time to take a uh, certain risk. So it kind of goes both ways in chess. But um, main thing is that we want to have fun at the same time. So hopefully you will. Um, if you didn't quite enjoy it last year, hopefully something to click this time. Actually, I didn't like it the first time I played it. But the second time I, I opened it, I don't know, maybe a year or so later, I got totally hooked on it. And uh, you know, that, was, that was many years ago. But uh, give it a chance is, is all I say. Give it a chance. Uh, not like you have a choice, but uh, give it a chance. I think um, once you learn the moves and how they go, it'll, it'll really grow on you. All right, so I'm looking forward to a fun, successful year. All right, so this is MrNebu.com. You can actually find that same intro uh, slideshow that I just went through. It's on here as well. Um, I already spoke about that. Let's look at Chess Magnet School and Chess.com. That's the basic bulk of what we are going to be using the resources we're using this year. So this is the one thing that we should do right away, which is either create or retrieve our Chess Magnet School accounts and Chess.com accounts. For the Chess Magnet School, you all, more than likely, you are in a different period than you were with me last year. So I need you to go into Chess Magnet School and if you've already created an account, you can skip this part. 
And then just go ahead and log in and change your class code here. So you're gonna click this link and then change your class code. So for example, if you're in NEBU 6A this year, your code is gonna be cell 37. You're just gonna type that in. And that's all you really need to do for now, Chess Magnet School. If you do not have an account, then I need you to go there and start one. So um, you're gonna fill in this information, that circle, and then you're gonna put your class code here. So whatever class code you have, that's where you're gonna place it. All right, and then on chess.com, find your, your, um, your account. If you can't find it, um, look for the uh, lost password link or let's create a new account. And then on that account, I need you to add me as a contact. So click this with circle. It's uh, the connect, I'm gonna click the connect and then you're gonna add me. So my account name is AW1. Again, this is all saved for you here on mrnebu.com. That's M-R-N-E-B-I-U.com. All right, so once you do that, then we can go. So you are adding me and that way I can observe your games while we're playing during our class time. Okay, uh, a lot of the rest of this you can kind of check out on your own time, but I have a lot of information here. Um, a lot of things you can do as far as studying and, and advancing in the game. So, and then just some stuff that you just might want to take a peek at. Um, so I got algebraic notation, and then these videos, some of them are just entertaining to see a little snippet of uh, class play and I'll be updating this as the year goes on. Upcoming events. Uh, this is where I will place any upcoming tournaments. And of course, uh, we don't have any live tournaments going on because of our situation, but uh, as things come back to normal and we start having live uh, physical in place, uh, <laughs> Uh, physical tournaments, uh, live, outside, face-to-face -face tournaments, I will be placing those here. So as those come up, I'll come here. Even the virtual tournaments, once I find more about those, we had quite a few of those over the summer. But I'll place those here um, as they come, uh, as I find out about them. And then on the right side, all of this writing here, uh, where past places where you can go and play chess. So I'm pretty sure none of this is happening right now. But uh, just like the other side, once everything clears up, I'm pretty sure these places will be back in effect. So if you want to go out and, and uh, meet up with some chess players and play live, these will be some of the places you can check out. Okay. Um, interesting chess game. So all of these chess games are, or they contain live links. So any of these games, these are by masters. That's another way to get better is by studying games, studying, studying the moves that old masters have made, or young masters, it doesn't matter. But once you click on one of these links, it will take you to a, uh, an, a virtual board and it'll take you through the moves and you can actually look at those games. Announcements. Um, I usually place updates from the uh, Sunrise or the National Scholastic Chess Foundation, which um, also is, is pretty much the same deal as the Sunrise uh, Federation, which pays for your Chess Magnet School accounts but they hold a lot of lessons and uh, workshops and uh, quite a few things as far as Sunrise Chess is concerned. And I usually place uh, updates from them because they, they usually, anything that's going on with chess and, uh, chess and Sunrise, they usually have a part in it. So, uh, so that's usually my announcements. 
All right. And of course, I have stuff uh, <clears throat> from Franklin also. Chess player spotlight. I just, um, from time to time, I just throw different chess players here that seem uh, to take interest. Uh, for example, Nakamura, he's a, a top player, actually uh, is a Sunrise resident. And I don't know how many of you all had um, Mr. Garai as a teacher in elementary. Well, uh, we, we both got a chance to take our picture with Nakamura at one of the Sunrise uh, workshops we attended uh, not too long ago. Actually, yeah, it's been a long time now. I guess, I don't know, maybe, maybe three years since uh, this event. Anyway, so that's uh, that. I have uh, other helpful chess sites. Got a lot of chess books you can actually download. Um, free downloads as well. Chess game database. Go to chessgames.com and just search. You can search by opening. You can search by master. You can search by certain defense. Um, very great database. And then I have other chess links and websites you can check out. Files and documents. Other, other documents uh, that's going to you know, put you in contact with, say, the Chess Federation. That's what you need to become a part of if you ever play um, rated tournaments. I have a working syllabus. I say working because the chess, um, actually the, the school's grade requirements are not set as of yet. So we're trying to work it out to work with our virtual setup. So. Once that's done, I'll be able to finalize that syllabus. A little bit on chess etiquette. I have um, some other, other things in there that uh, might strike your interest. Also more research on you know, the, the benefits of chess and chess play and chess instruction. And the intro, which is uh, what I started with. So you can check that out too. All right. So I'll leave you with, as we embark, and this is what I want you to know. And this is what I want all of us to work together and, and feel. So as we embark on this virtual journey, there may be hiccups along the way. Just remember that we are all in this together. Whatever challenges we face, we will overcome them. Let's continue to put forth our best effort to what I'm sure will be another successful year. All right, so everybody, I'll see you soon and uh, we'll get this thing worked out. So, all right, peace.